Hi friends. So today our coding challenge is to code the stack. So let me tell you what stack is. So a stack is a you know data structure which is a derived data structure because the basic data structure is array or linked list. So we are going to code uh, this stack by using the array list. So stack is a data structure in which you have the data piled up one on top of another just like books. So this is also called as a uh, last in first out. So if you will put fourth book here, that's the book which will go up first, right? You cannot take the bottom book up. So this is how something it looks like. And to explain you better, let me uh, show you the visual representation. What are the, uh, you know, the operations which it has. So uh, let's say if you want to uh, pop a record, so this is the top, for example, this is data, but you can imagine these are all books. So if you will do pop, the only the top can go away, but nothing from in between or the bottom can't be taken out from this kind of uh, data structure, which data is arranged in such a way. So again, this got popped. Now peak, what is peak? So peak means you can see like where is the top, like on the top, what uh, data is there, the value, right? Now you need to push. Push means you're trying to add a data. For example, I'll put uh, seven because that's my birthday. So seven, so you're uh, pushing the data. So that's how this thing works. Now our challenge is to uh, write a code like real quick to implement this, uh, this stuff. So what I have is, uh, so Java also provides a, a stack basically, right? So uh, as you know, we will do test-driven development because I, uh, I like test-driven development. So what are we going to do is we are going to build a stack first. So we have a stack. Uh, so uh, what do we need for that? So first thing is uh, there is a stack which is given by Java itself and we are going to use generics again. So uh, I'll explain you what actually generics is. So let's say we are having the stack of strings. Uh, so what are the methods? So we see push, pop, peak. So these are the methods which we just saw here, like push and peak and pop, which we are going to implement. So the underneath database, we are not going to use the ready-made stuff. We are going to build on our own, whatever is the underneath stuff. So we would call it as um, um, stack with the array. So now let's begin. Now before we begin, we have to get the first thing, uh, which would be our public constructor. So underneath we can use the array list actually. So I would say array list and to make it generic, we would say E. So we can make it a integer or a, a string like specified list. But what we are trying to do is you can make uh, any any uh, list. Uh, so E is for element, right? So what we say is stack array is for SA and we can initialize it here. But the good practice is as soon as you create your class. So we'll have a public constructor wherein we will have the stack with array and uh, then you will instantiate or initialize it with the new array list. You can always do program against interface, which means list and then array list. So this would get instantiated and you know the capacity increases dynamically for this. So you don't have to worry about that. Now you can have a variable integer, which can keep the count in case if it's required, if you need to check if it's empty. So first we will uh, do the very first operation, uh, which is uh, the push operation. So as soon as you push, how do you push it, right? So what we'll do is we will have a void push method, wherein you will insert the element inside your stack. So we are going to use the add method for the uh, list basically the array list so whatever the element which would get added once it's get added you can increase the count so your stack will have more data and you can keep a check of that 
so just to validate uh, the you know if this is empty or not you can have the method is empty which would return if the total value is more than zero or not if it is like that then it's empty so this will actually this would return the boolean <clears throat> same thing you can do full is full but full doesn't matter here because you don't have a fixed capacity so that's fine now uh, we'll test this method because test driven development says this thing right so first we will say assert and if we instantiate let's instantiate our stack with array and i would call it as as uh, stack with array which is our custom implementation of the stack if this value is true is empty so if this is true our code is going great and everything is all good otherwise we need to fix if there is some issue so there is some issue which is a null pointer exception and why is that because uh, why is that let's see it's on line number 30 so your count is not initialized here right so that is why so you have the initial count as zero so now if you want to see if your list is uh, so we are all set now if we push a data inside it so second operation is we would say as a dot and then we are trying to push data inside this and the data would be my birthday again right so technically this should be false because this shouldn't be empty anymore so we would just negate this and if it passes our push thing is working fine so this guy is giving some trouble why because it's empty count count has to increase as soon as the push goes here 42 so is empty is false actually uh let's debug no big deal uh debug it so as soon as we come here the count is supposed to be more than zero which is which is here and then you come to the count method so then you will come to the count so count is equal to zero that is false and anything false against false what would be that so for the opposite of false is actually true so there might be some problem with the statement so what we would do is let's try it this way writing the test and then run it so which means this is returning a false uh, no actually this is returning a true and that is a problem So basically the problem is with the return type so instead of boolean if it's this boolean then this should work fine let's run it and yes it's working fine so we have implemented a push and then uh, uh, we have tested it now let's insert pause uh, sorry pop so what's the deal with the pop it doesn't take anything and once you pop anything the data is supposed to go out so what we are going to do is the list has a data it should again get empty so how would you implement so we can rely on the uh, underlying implementation so it might uh, return us the value which it is you know about to take off and uh, whatever the value which is at the top that would be the value so what you could do is say ee -E is equal to and then your stack stuff and then you would say remove so once you say remove uh, it is asking for the index and index is basically your count now there is a problem what is the problem is uh, the index zeroth value right so probably you have to initiate it with minus one so that uh, even if the first index is there it would come as one so what's the problem it is saying it's an incompatible type because it is asking uh, so you can remove by two things first is you can remove it by the index and some uh, by the object itself 
so we will try to remove it by the index so the index which is at the top that would be removed what is it saying it is saying that this is returning a boolean sure that's fine so what we are going to do is first we will get our element so we would say get whatever the element is on top and then we will remove that element and in our implementation whatever we are removing we will tell user that hey this was the item which we are returning now so uh, how to test it so once you pop you are supposed to validate that this value is supposed to be seven when you pop your item and then your list is supposed to be empty again so what's the deal it is saying cannot be applied to int versus an object so what's the deal here you're returning e which is good and then you have e here So what we did here is uh, we are trying to use the generics. So there are two things. Either we would, uh, you know, uh, cast it and make it integer and our test case will pass, right? I'm sure it will pass. Okay, the problem, what's a problem? Yeah, so we updated this count. So we are supposed to tell that it would be empty if this value is less than zero. So now it would pass, sorry, my bad. So now this is giving some other problem which is expected. And the reason is you have to uh, decrease the count as soon as you like take the object off. So you have to reset the count or decrement the count okay now what is it saying so what was happening there is that we have typed this twice which should not be the case because uh, that's why it was going minus one uh, index array right out of the boundaries so now if we run this this thing comes as seven here and then everything is passing so why did we need this casting we don't need it so we as i said that we have to use the generics so we would use e here and that way we have to implement the generics wherever we need to so it would be okay so now it is saying that it's a int and so we need to implement that this in the push method as well Okay, so basically this uh, should be the generic. So the integer, the data type comes here and we are all set. So this is it, everything is passing and we have implemented these functions uh, in our uh, stack. So guys, thanks for watching. In our uh, next challenge, we are going to use the array instead of array list.